All right, let's get into the next one here. We got a late slate for the Eastern Coast time, 10-15 Eastern on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. William & Mary taking on Montana State. This one should be pretty good. A team, Both teams, 11-1 and one in this one. We just saw William & Mary take care of their game last week. It was basically a blowout the whole time. Montana State, though, a little different in that one. Montana State looked good for the, for the most of it. You think Montana State is the best team remaining steve i know you talked about that earlier what's your thoughts on this game moving into at 10 15 eastern time in this quarterfinal game well i'm going to drink as much coffee as i possibly can because i want to stay up and i want i i want to watch this game you know william and mary i mean if you have a team that scores 54 points you know in a playoff game i mean you need to take notice and william and mary can they you know they can light up the scoreboard they've got a terrific offense now i would say that they did that at the expense of a Gardner Webb team that um, I don't think had the caliber um, of, of defensive talent that could slow down the tribe. I mean, William and Mary's had a terrific, terrific year. I look at Darius Wilson. You know, a he's a dynamic quarterback. He can get the job done with his arms and his legs. But I really think William and Mary's run ends in Missoula, because I think they don't have any answers for Montana State's running game. You know, last week against a tough Weber State side, you know, they had three players rush for more than 90 yards. Uh, they finished the season really, really strong, as I alluded to earlier in the Big Sky Conference, which is probably the best conference this year, you know, mm -hmm. in the FCS. I mean, you can argue Missouri Valley Conference, but I, I think – you know, over the course, especially of the last four to six weeks, I think the big sky kind of set themselves apart. A big reason why I think Montana State is now the best team left in FCS is they've got their their longtime star running back. You know, Isaiah Ifonts, he played his first game in a, in a long time, in over a year. He had a really serious knee injury. He looked really, really good. So that I think it's just yet another weapon on the ground where Montana State can really keep things fresh. You know, we've seen that with a lot of teams, both FBS and FCS, where if they've got a stable of running backs and they can keep running them in and out, they can just keep running the ball and moving the ball on the ground. So I, I would imagine Montana State's going to do its best to try to keep William and Mary is offense off the field the best they can. Now, both teams could easily put up 500 yards in any given game. I don't see this happening for William and Mary uh, against Montana State. To these eyes, everything that I needed to see about Montana State, uh, the exclamation point was last week, but when they were in that big spotlight for college game day, and you know, and they just dismantled their cross state rivalries. Yeah, fifty five twenty one. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and again, uh, and Montana was an FCS playoff team. All right, so when that happens, uh, that tells me that everything is clicking, you know, on all cylinders here. So I, the, the line here is what was it, eleven? No, seven and a half in favor of seven and a half. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, so so I guess people are, are are buying into what William and Mary did to Gardner Webb, and again, William and Mary they've got a great offense. They think they, they just they just find they find unique ways to score points too, like in, like in situations that you would never think. So somehow they break off a big run, or or they or they have a pass that's mm -hmm. maybe just just supposed to be get getting up yards with the first down, but you know the receiver breaks a tackle or jukes his way and, and comes in for a big score. So, I mean, I mean, there, there could be some nervous moments for Montana state, but I mean, I'm giving the points and I, I'm taking Montana state. Yeah. I'm going to go on the other side here. I'm leaning towards the tribe. I really like what Mike Lennon's done with this squad. And yeah. I am drinking the Kool-Aid about what I've seen with Gardner Webb. that 54, 14 win last week was an absolute beating. Uh, and what they had to do to get that by in the colonial with, with that last uh, last week win over Richmond, that 37-26 win. Uh, what I've seen in the last few weeks from this team uh, is enough for me to say I'm picking this squad. However, Montana State, I mean, fantastic. You want to go back a few weeks, this is the same team that put 72 points up on Cal Poly you, the week before college game day, right? So this is going to be a fantastic game. 
I'm with you. Get that coffee in good. Inject it in your veins if you have to, uh, because this is worth staying up for that one. Again, 1015 ESPN2 and ESPN Plus, and as well as NCAA.com. William & Mary taking on Montana State. This one is probably going to be the best game of Friday night, in my opinion. 